Let's take a look at different ways of using the cube brush in Voxel Max to quickly create a little orchard. After opening the Voxel Max app and creating a new document, we can see that the cube brush is already selected with a radius of 10 voxels, and the drawing mode is set to create with centered freehand. Tap the CF button to change it to CS for centered single. Then press and hold on the cube brush button to adjust the size by sliding your finger up and down. We want to set the size to one voxel. If you hit the edge of your screen before reaching one, drag your finger back up to the middle of the screen and down again. To get started, let's zoom with the pinch out gesture so we can see what we're doing more clearly. Press the material button to bring up the color palette and select a brown swatch. Tap a few spots on the ground to place single brown voxels, leaving a gap between each. Build up the trunk and add a few branches to the sides. Now that our tree trunks are done, we need to add some leaves. Open the palette again and swipe left to the third page of swatches. Double tap on a shade of green to open the color editor. Set the alpha to 85% then save and tap done. Place voxels all around the branches for leaves. You can make the trees like boxes or rounded. Try using different shades of green or gaps inside for different looks. Use the erase mode to remove any leaves you don't want. To add fruit to our tree, pick the bright red swatch from the first page of the palette. Set the brush to paint mode and tap around the leaves to change some of them into apples. Now that our trees are complete, we can make this a big orchard very quickly. Press and hold on the selection button and drag up till the menu option Select All is highlighted. This will grab all of our trees. Tap twice on the button that appeared above to use the clone tool. Pinch and zoom out so we can see the whole floor grid. Now press and drag anywhere on the floor to drag a new copy of the trees to any position. We could press the top of the trees too, but we might accidentally press the sides, which would drag the tree up and down. With our orchard filled out, we need to make some grass. Select a new green color that isn't transparent. Then select the X and Y stretch and tap the floor grid to cover it entirely. Toggle X and Y off at the same time by pressing the stretch button. We built the floor last because it's easier to sculpt the lower leaves of the trees when the ground doesn't get in our way. Finally, we can add a little path through the orchard. Set the brush radius to three and the color to tan. Then tap the CS button so it changes to CF so we can make a freehand stroke. Make a winding path from one side of the orchard to the other. Great work. We've created a basic scene in just a few minutes. You can try adding onto this scene by making different grass colors, more types of trees, or an apple cart. Be sure to share your creations online and tag VoxelMax.